Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the optimization technique. Today we will discuss the next part of the formulation of the LPP. In this video we will discuss some more complex problems and we will see how to formulate this LPP problem. Myself Dr. Gar working in the School of Mathematics Thapar Institute India. You can contact me by either of these email IDs there. Also if you want to see the last two parts you can see in the description or you can see in their i button link is there. Okay, so let's see, discuss this video. So we'll see how we can solve such type of the problem are there. And make sure that we will follow the same strategy. That is, we can start from the first line until the first full stop appears. Look at this. So we can read up to here to here. And then we can start from this to here and then so on. So let's start. A company has the two grades of the inspector one and two. So a company has the two grades of the inspector. How many grades, how many inspectors are there? It is not given in the first line. Okay. So what is the meaning of that? How many inspectors are there? It is not given. So I assume X1 is the number of the inspector one and X2 is the number of the inspector of the grade two. And, and all of you have seen that it's a number of the inspector. So that's a persons. So number of the persons the minimum value of the persons is either there is no person so 0 and greater than 0. Are they integers or the real number? Yes, are they and are integers because you can't define the 1.5 inspector is there. So that's the meaning of up to here. Now it is required that at least so at least means there is a greater than or equal to 2000 pieces. So this is the pieces is there at least 2000 pieces be inspected per 8 hours a day. So what is given to you that a company require at least 2000 items to be inspected daily. So if you think about that how many items are inspected by the grade 1 that is x1. How many items are inspect how many inspectors are there x2. Grade 1 inspector can check a pieces at the rate of 50 per hours. So this is a 50 per hours for the grade 1 and how many grade 1 inspectors are there x1. So the total pieces are inspected as 50 x1 per hours. This is a unit of them and how many hours they have worked for them is 8 hours. So therefore you will get in the 8 hours how many inspected are there 8 into 50 x1. And now since this is the accuracy, so accuracy is not related to the uh, 2000 items. So we can skip them. Similarly, the grade 2 inspectors can pieces at the rate of 40 per hours. So you can say 40 per hours with how many grades are there for the uh, grade 2 inspector are x2 and how many are there? This is a 8 and this is my constant of this. Look at that. This is the 8 hours number of the uh, pulses at the rate 50 and the, this is the number of the grade inspector 1 similarly for here. So once you simplify you will get here as this constant because this is the restriction B. Now full stop. The wages rate of the grade 1 is so this is the cost. So that is cost is nothing but my wage rate for the grade 1 is my dollar 4.50 and this is 2.50 for the second uh, grade inspector. This is a per hour. So how many hours they are working for? 8 hours. So the total cost will be here. Also it is given that each time an error is made by the any inspector the cost to the company is one dollar. So this is also the cost. So one cost is this and second cost is due to the error. How many error cost is one. So what you conclude that so what is the total cost because both the things is related to cost so the total cost is this plus this so the cost of the each inspector is the cost of the wages and the cost of the inspector error so now you can calculate the cost for the grade 1 so this is for the grade 1 plus 1 is for the error error cost what is the 3 since accuracy is a 97 percent is since accuracy is my 97, so what is the error is 3% is there. And accuracy is 97 on 50 pieces are there. So uh, error is 3% of 50. 
So this is there. Similarly, you can find the cost for the second inspector. That is a, a 2.50. Uh, cost is 1. Accuracy is 95. So error is here. So this is per hour. This is per hour. So the total cost will be, if I say code as a 8 into 6 is 48. X1 total. And this 8 into 4.5 X2. Okay, full stop is there. Now the next line is start from here up to this. So a company has available for the 10 grade 1. Is the maximum or the minimum grades are there? So this is the maximum number of them. So this is here. Grade 2 are this. And full stop. And then you have to find the formulate the problem which minimize the total cost. So this is my objective function. Minimize of this. Subjective to this is my first constraint. And this are the two constraints are there. So that is my formula. 8 into 6 x1. 8 into this. This 8 is for the 8 hours. Constant is only 1 and these are the restrictions and are integers. So this is the way you can check them. Okay, look at the one more important problem is that is called as the trim loss problem. So a paper cutting machines are available to cut the standard roll pieces into the sub roll. Each standard roll is 180 centimeter. So this is my roll which is of the 180 centimeter. And the number of the items must be cut to produce the smaller sub rolls. So you can cut the pieces like this way and you can make the sub rolls. What is the size is? You can cut as a 70 centimeter. How many pieces are there? 30 pieces, 60 pieces for the 50 centimeter and 30 centimeter pieces. How many pieces are there? 40. Full stop. So I can write this in that this table. So how many widths are there? First one is a 70, then 50 and 30. I can write in the ascending or descending order. How many items, how many sub rolls needed for the 30 centimeter is? You can see this is a 40 and so on. So now the question arises is how, what are the pairs? How many pairs are there? Like say you can construct, uh, you can divide this 180 centimeter into the six pieces so that six pieces of the 30 centimeter each. This is the one possible way. Okay, so your target is to find the number of the sub rolls packed ones, like say first P1. What is the maximum number of the pieces you can construct for the 30 centimeter? Out of the 160, 180, how many pieces you can construct is 6. And once you construct 6, is there any part left? No. So there is no roll for the 50, no roll is there. And my target is to minimize the amount of loss. Is there any loss is there? No, because total 180 is utilized. Look at the first case. Let me check the second one. Instead of the 6, if you construct the 5 cases are there of the 30 centimeter. So if you construct 5 centimeter, what is the remaining left is? 30 because it's a 150. So can you, can you design 50 from the left one? No. So it's a 0. Can you construct 70 from this remaining one? No. So this is the wastage. But if you closely look about that, 30 is not the wastage because 30 centimeter you already need it. So basically, this is nothing but my the first case itself. Okay. So it means there is there is no uh, P2. There is nothing is there. This is nothing but the P1. Now, so it means uh, 6 is not be possible. So now look at for the if 6 is not possible, then we can think for the 4. What will happen if you construct the four pieces among the 180 of length 30 centimeters. So what is the remaining is? If you consider that is a 120. So the remaining is my 60. So can you construct 50 centimeter from it? Yes, that is a one. So how many left is there? 10. So can you construct 70 from them? No. Can you utilize 10 any of them? No. So this is my wastage. Trim loss wastage. So the second one is my 410. Similarly, if you construct the third case, if I call as a 3, so how many utilize are there? 90, 13 to 3. So that what is the remaining is? 90. So can you construct the 50 <coughs> centimeter from it? Yes. So if you construct 150 or even 170 also be. 
So if you construct first as a 50, what is the remaining is 40. So what is the left? Can you construct 70 from them? No. But out of this 40, you can construct 130 also. So the 130 means this is there. So the what is the left is 10. So basically this is the same case here. So what is the meaning is you can't construct one from them. So the meaning is if you construct three, then the remaining is again 90. Out of 90, you can construct one as a 70. So the remaining is my 20. So you can't uh, compute 30, 50 or from this 20. So the fact one P3 will be my here and 20 is my waste. Similarly, you can construct as a 2 if you consider 2 and so on. You can find all these 8 cases similarly. Okay. Now, once you are finding this and what is the last row is? This is nothing but the trim loss waste HP. Now, what is your target is? You have to formulate the problem which will minimize the amount of waste. So, your target is to minimize this. But, can since this is the waste is, so can you consider this 20 plus 10 is nothing but my 30? Can you think about that? But particularly in this question is not be there because look at that this line ignoring recycling or the other cases for that frame. So that's why you can't combine them. So how many cases you have constructed? 8. So I consider x1, x2 and xn be the number of the standard sub rules and your target is to minimize this. So this I call as the x1, this is x2 and this is x8. So objective function is 0 x1, 10 x2, 20 x3, 0 x4, 20 x5 and then so on. So this is my objective function. Now the constraint is my 6 x1, 4 x2, 3 x3, 2 x2 and then so on and the right is 40. And why it is equality? Because and similarly, you can write for this second constant and the third constant. Now look at that. Why there is a need of the equality? Because if you look about that, here the constant, the equality is desired because anything left is of no use. If this amount of wastage is no use, it means you want exactly 40 or exactly 60 pieces. So that's the answer of this case. So basically, you want to create this factor and solve it. Look at one more example related to this same uh, trim loss problem. Uh, paper cutting machine is there. Now this time is the length is my 200. And now you want to uh, divide this sub roll into these different pieces are there. Okay, so like this way. So you can write in the ascending or descending order as you wish. Now you can start from here. So your length will be 200 centimeter. So what is the maximum number of the pieces you can construct for the 35? So if you can think about the 6, so it not be possible because it is 210, which is out of the boundary. So the maximum you can construct as a 5. So what is the left behind is? So 35 into 5. So what is the left is? 165. So the remaining is 35. So can you construct any of them out of these 35? No. So this is there. And this 35 is my wastage. Okay. But your target, uh, but if you read the statement, your target is to minimize the number of the master roles. If there is in this case, it is not mentioned about the wastage. Okay, so it's, if there is no mention about the wastage, so there is no need to write here as a mention one. Okay? So the first case is here. Similarly, if you now think about this, if you five then four, so what is that out of the 200? This is 200. What is the length is? 85, 35 into 4, 140 is utilized. So out of this 140, how many left is? 60. So if you consider 60, so there is no construction of the 80, 90 and 120. But you can construct the 35 from this 60 because waste is only be there when it is less than of the 35. So it means this is 4 plus 1. Then again, the same case. So it means this 4 is will not be possible. Then you can construct 3. So if you construct 3 here out of this 20, 105 is utilized. Out of 200, 105 is utilized and the remaining is 95. So out of this 95, you can construct 1 as a 80 or else 1 as a 90. So there are the two cases. 
if you construct 1 as 80, so what is the remaining is 15. So 15 is no utilized, so this is the case. If you construct 95, 90 from the 90, the 5 will be there and this is there. So this is the case for the P2 and the pattern P3. Sim this is first, first one, this is the second one. Similarly, you can define as a P4. Now there is no more case for the second. Now you can construct 2 out of this 200. So what is the remaining is 70 you have utilized. So what is the less left is 130. Out of this 130, you can construct either as a 180 or else 1, 190 or else 1 as a 120. So look at the first case. When you construct one of the 80, what is the left is? 50. So out of this 50, again 135 is deducted. So 135 is deducted means 2 plus 1, 3. So it means 3, 1, 0, 0. That is already covered. So it means that is not possible. Okay. Now look at for the one. If you construct 90 from them, so what is the left is? 40. Okay, out of this 40, again 135 is deducted, so it becomes the this case. So it means this is again not possible. Now out of this 130, if you deduct 120, remaining is 10, which is not utilized anywhere. So the case will be 2, 0, 0, 1. And similarly for the 1 and then you can say there is no of the 35 and so on. So this is a simple way. Now your target is to minimize the amount of the wastage role. So what is the wastage role is? I consider X size is my number of the wastage role. And your target is to minimize the number of the master roles. That is you have two targets to minimize this. So what is your objective function? X1 plus X2. How many cases are there? 8. So this is your objective function. Subjective to 5x1, 3x2, like 5x1, 3x2, plus 3x3 and then so on, it is 200. Now you can see in the statement, is there any condition given on this 200, whether they are, uh, they are to satisfy the customer order. So this is the requirement. So you can to use as this here, because they need at least 200 are there. So that's why there is greater than sign instead of the equality. So this is the way simple way you can proceed just like this problems are there and definitely they are the integers. So I hope you can again enjoy this session also. So we will see the last part in the next video where we will see the nonlinear optimization problem and how you convert them into the LPP that we will see in the next last session is there. If you find the rest of the videos you can browse this link or you can find the other details also be there. Till then, best of luck for today.